and start the timer and start. All right. <clears throat> short thing, so I'll just abbreviate to LAN. It's like only six characters from the size of that. Lungo, King Tsarkon of Kartathana, Kar releases evil hordes upon the peaceful land of Excalibria. Well, the people of Excalibria fought bravely, in the end they were overwhelmed. Those 16 big graphics, they actually have color. As his castle collapsed around him, King Eric V of Excalibria summoned Blade, his most trusted servant. Eric commanded Blade to escape with Eric's infant son, and the king was with that. <laughs> Blade slipped on a secret pass out of secret passage as the castle was engulfed in flames. Gotta speak faster. He fled with a babe to a distant village and raised the child as his own. So where the child, where the prince. Sarkon vowed to devote all of Carthina's power to searching for the prince. Eighteen years have passed since Sarkon, of course, you know, eighteen years on the dot, right? And suddenly, I'm surprised I'm like fifteen years old or something. Most JRPGs. Oh, is that me? Oh, yeah, that's sudden. It's like suddenly I'm just dropped into like this really weird-looking dude. He's got like face paint on or something. No one here to talk to. A, B, C. You have nothing to use. Everybody's speaking up the text. Seek. Search carefully. You didn't notice anything under a search, basically. Now this menu looks very familiar. <laughs> I wonder where they got the inspiration of this menu. Hit the slow text though, is there a way to speed that up? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Still a little slow, but better than the other than it used to be. Now, the proper equipment. Definitely like ripping off of, of Dragon uh, Warrior in terms of the uh, menus, anyways. Everyone has been looking for you. Your father is near Death's door. Can I not run faster than this? Yeah, you know, like it's three buttons, Genesis. Come on, they have one of them as their run button. Have two buttons that do absolutely nothing in the overworld. Father is calling for you. Where is my father? Papa, Papa, where are you? Screw my dad, I'm going to buy some weapons. I'm 18 now. I'm my own man. Sorry, you can't open that. What? I don't know how to open a door. Jeez, what did I learn in 18 years? Pretty crappy school. Opening doors 101. Can't go there either. Let's just go and see your dad, I guess. Who's been looking for you? Okay, whatever. Everybody's saying the same things too. Hey, rush to your father's side. Okay, where is my dad, anyway? Swimming in this big open door. Probably the only place I can go. All right. Where have you been? Your father's calling for you. Is up these weird looking stairs, I guess? Blade's health failed so quickly that nothing could be done. Man, at last you're here. I have much to tell you. I'm not your real father. What? 
good thing, uh, you know, we didn't have the whole intro that told us all that, but, you know, I guess this guy didn't really know. You're a son of Eric of Excalibria, killed by Tsarkon of Carthana. I don't care. <laughs> this castle burned. King Eric bade me take you and raise you as my son. Get the Ring of Wisdom in a cave near the village. Only this ring or soul inheritance can save the world. Armies of Cartha... Carthana... I can't even pronounce that. Carteth... Cartagena. 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 i gonna say that. Cartagena are moving to conquer. It's your destiny to rescue the world from Cartagena. And save some money for this moment. Arm yourself. The road is dangerous. Sorry I had to be silent until now. I always thought of you as my son. Rip! King Eric... Nope. <laughs> that's, that's a good time to die there. King Eric would have been proud of you as I am. Now go and remember me. I know you're just you're just faking it, man. You're faking it. Yeah, nothing unusual. Unusual. All right, time to go. Last brave blade is the. Oh, I forgot to check the. Uh... Forgot to raid all the uh... bookshelves. Is that a thing in this game? Probably not. Yeah, I probably can't search the bookshelves or anything. Doesn't seem to be a common thing until later on. Everybody opened up their doors all of a sudden. It was once a mighty warrior, but the wounds of Longo never healed. Heretic Reedwave, how's it going? He has infected the soldiers of Cartagena. Will they appear human inside their horrible monsters? <clears throat> Alright, let's see what they sell in here. Train! <laughs> you enter a cave without candles. Your task will be difficult indeed. Alright, so I guess we need uh, a torch of some kind. Let's pick up a candle, I guess, because we'll probably run into a cave eventually. Let's just buy one. <laughs> guess we actually used it. No, oh, that sucks. Whatever, it's only ten bucks. We're gonna give it a shot, just to see what happens. Hey, man, you must defeat monsters. Really? Is that how it works? It's a good thing I knew. I didn't know that. So I'd like to buy your best knife and your best fork, please. Oh, well, that was a good customer. I will miss him. Ten take. Ten take. Ten take. You strong cast out your grief. You have an important task ahead. Which what the hell ten take tentake is supposed to be. Now they're very 16 bit. 16 bit ripoff of Dragon Warrior. <laughs> it's like, hey, this game's popular, let's make our own. The ring in a cave south of here. Here's a map to guide you. That's convenient. You just had a map to the cave that has the ring that my dying father just told me about. How did you know about this ring, buddy? <laughs> he was infected in soldiers Cartagena. Though they appear to be human inside their herb monsters. Yeah. Works. Maybe as soon as I walk outside, it'll be visible or something. A person, good, a person that good shouldn't die. I guess he should be a vampire. And be a really good person. Make sure you have a map before you leave town or village. Well, I mean, the, the entire menu system would beg to differ. 
I mean, if this isn't a, a, a total ripoff of Dragon Warrior in terms of the menu, I, I don't know what else it could possibly be. Yeah, but it's the exact same menu system as Dragon Warrior, down to like the whole, you know, open and like search and uh, like this is the same thing. Like, you know, Genesis has like three buttons to use. You can have had one of them be like talk. No, they had to add talk inside the menu. You know what I mean, like just things like that. <laughs> it's, it's incredibly Dragon Warrior esque. <laughs> And, uh, you know, makes sense, right? Dragon Warrior was, like, one of the biggest RPGs at this point. One of the biggest, uh, JRPGs, so... Most games are gonna be trying to emulate it. At least in some way. Especially in things like menus and that. But I'm sure, like, the actual gameplay itself, not so much, but... Okay... Let's buy the bronze sword, I guess. Buy the small shield, which I'm assuming is better than leather shield. We gotta save money up for this armor. Not sure how much money the uh Why is why is Kim up there and like next is that is that my money? Kim? Weird thing of money. Gonna be gold, it has to be Kim. Give me ten Kims. As long as they didn't copy the, the inventory system, where you can only hold eight things or something, then I'll be happy. You get a real pain in the ass to actually uh, sort your inventory. As long as they didn't copy that. They didn't copy that, did they? So we'll go outside. Let's go this way here first. While the rest here, piece of last. Already? Didn't he just die? Like, holy crap, he just buried him? Like, he died like five minutes ago. He just buried him already? Holy crap, fuck about efficiency there. You can check for a pulse later. It's like, alright, just throw him in there. Well, the world map is definitely different. <laughs> See if they had a face on that slime? Well, the combat's definitely. Weird as hell. Totally different. <laughs> God, these things are. Okay, it's probably a bad idea. I should be staying around. Okay, yeah, definitely need to uh, bring a candle here. Is there any fix? What happens if you die? I'm gonna find out very shortly because one health point. And... So I'm gonna make it back to town, which is not gonna happen. I'm trying to find out what happens when you die. Alright, so you get sent to half your money, okay. That sounds very familiar. I wonder if there's any other games where you <laughs> lose half your money after you die. Like I said, they, 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 they took a lot of concepts from Dragon Warrior in this game. Obviously the combat's completely different. And the, you know, the world map thing is completely different, but yeah, a lot of the concepts. 
So I, I lost, what, five gold? And uh, do we start back with full hit points? Strength? Why isn't it strength? Why isn't that stats or something? So the next level experience 90. That's a weird number. HP 33, maximum HP 33, MP 1. Why do we even have 1 MP when I can't even cast a spell? Condition best. I'm assuming if I get like poison or something, it'll say something different. That's a weird condition. Best. It's not good, it's just best. Wait, did I not equip my shield? I, I did. It's weird. Gear, magic, nothing. Gear, nothing. Rings, nothing. Let's kill some more stuff. Alright, who knows? How much gold do I have? Okay, Kim. Keep forgetting Kim equals gold, so I had 42, I guess. I lost 21 gold. Which is meh. Let's go grind some experience till you level up. Just hang around here. Blue slimes, alright. Blue slimes are usually easier, I think. Maybe. I'm supposed to sort like that. What's with this shield? Is his shield like hanging out on his on his like shoulder or something like that? Like what the fuck? <laughs> yes, nostalgia. Holy crap! Is that a shield on the shoulder, or is that just some weird ass, like... Is part of his armor, like... Looks weird as hell. Yet, of course, you know, when, when he's... When he's, uh, looking, uh... To the left or right, it's always on the opposite shoulder for some weird reason. Right, I'm dead again. Uh, Fade it. Serious one step encounters. Okay. It's a shoulder mounted shield that always switched shoulder no matter which direction you look. You just use the same sprite and mirrored it instead of actually, you know, making it look like like it's on you know the other the other shoulder. They, they got lazy with that programming. If they make if they make it some make something that uh is like does, doesn't give your character a uniform appearance, then they should make it so that it shows up on the right shoulder when you're turning side to side. Runs run for the night. Ten comes a night. I never understood like why they they have an inn in the, in your starting town where your house is. It's like hey, you know, I can just go to my house and rest in my own bed, but uh, I'm gonna rest at the inn because. It doesn't make sense that you can rest in your own bed. <laughs> yep, it's, it's just a magical switching shield. It's gotta be a sentient shield, right? That, that's the whole plot of the story. Your shield is sentient. It just automatically switches the shoulder every time you turn. It's gotta be it. Alright, so you can, can you get encounters by turning in circles, or do you have to actually move? Just turn on circles. Or you even have to turn, you just like wait and it'll happen. Let's just wait and see if anything happens. So I want to get 200 gold to, for the next. Uh, probably not. So it looks like you actually have to do some sort of movement, whether it's forwards or backwards or turning. What 
how he just swings his sword like whoa, whoa. Is the combat ever getting like more interesting or I guess there's magic? But is it just like you're running around here and like swinging at things? Is there like, the other buttons don't do anything? At least not yet. Start doesn't anything. I guess once you get magic, you can use it in battle, maybe? Oh, just level 2. It's really far level 2 compared to uh, most of these games. Usually you level up uh, a lot sooner. The first level, and then it becomes a little harder later on. I'm guessing that like the entire game is all swords. Like, there's no like bows or anything like that, or different kinds of weapons, or they just look all the same in the, <laughs> in the actual combat. Anyways, no matter what you get, you get a spear that looks like a sword. I hate that there's no indication if the monster is taking damage though. There's no like damage indicators or anything like that, so I'm actually hitting him and he's not he's just not dying or am I just not hitting him. Tricky. Sounds, sounds like there's an audio cue but it's with the music and just all the other audio hard to hear it. Five more experience. That should do it. It's possible. Maybe with my uh, with my refresh rate, I might not be spotting the uh, the flash. <coughs> Level two, maximum hit point sixty one. So I guess you get a free heal when you level up too. My hit point was, went back to sixty one. I got 20 MP, so I must have gotten a spell too. Maybe? Okay, so I guess we have to buy spells. Which I didn't notice if there's anything in town that sold spells. So I have to go to the next town, I guess. some candles. Now I'm wondering if candles are like a one time per dungeon thing or is it something you have to buy multiple ones to... Do they, do they expire in a dungeon? Is there multiple floors in dungeons? Do they each need one or something? Guess we'll find out. Herbs are probably a good idea to take with me too. Okay, that's good. Ugh. Just like another unnamed game, these things don't stack. <laughs> I bet you more than anything, the uh, maximum inventory space is eight. How do you save in this? Game. I didn't notice. Uh, I guess the probably the uh, the guy at the church, if anything. It's usually like the kind of the priest guys or king guys that'll that you record in the book of. Which of course is blocked off of these damn stools. 
me help with you. Save the game, there we go. Let's save that before we go to the dungeon. Stack limit was it was twelve. Yeah, it's a weird number. <laughs> strange. It's not like any sort of decimal system or... binary system of any kind. It's just a random number. It's like 10 is too low. 20 is too high. Let's just make it 12. The area has become bright. Skeleton, a really tiny skeleton. He's not tiny anymore, run away! So I guess you can't use items inside of battle, right? I can't, can't use herbs until I'm out of a battle. Good thing I brought some herbs, holy crap. Okay, so chests don't appear until you're like on the spot. It's good to know. Open or take? Take? <laughs> Can't take as a boss. Fine, open. Open the chest, there's a map inside. Take. Why, why can't I just take it automatically? Alright, so now at least I can see the entire area. Um, uh, well, I guess... Probably have to go to the end of all of these areas. Let's see if there's any treasure. Slime, run away! Really? You have zero step encounter, you just turn. There's another guy. are nasty though, I gotta run away from these guys. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Should have gone the other way. <sighs> Old dude, what the hell are you doing in this cave? I've waited for a long time for you, Prince Lamb. Isn't he like in the dark? Because if I didn't have a candle, I wouldn't be able to see him, so he's just hanging around in the dark. Here is the Ring of Wisdom, which I received from Blade. It is rightfully yours. Please accept it. No, I don't want it. I guess we have to pick up multiple rings somehow. I don't know. Save us from Car Cartagena. Must not fail. Fall or whatever the hell he said. Alright. Let's go to the other 
paths and see what treasures are there. Holy crap! Run away! worth it. Too many monsters. And they really pile on the monsters. It's like, considering me, this is just the beginning of the game. It's like, holy crap. Let's put a bunch of like really tough monsters. Not much if we never picked up armor yet. I gotta go pick some up for 200 Kim. First, treasure it's money inside. Give me the damn thing. It's so annoying you have to open it and then take it. Do two commands to take the damn things in the chests. Holy crap. It was just wrecking me from the side there. I'm probably gonna lose all my money. I don't think I'll be able to make it out of here. Well, there goes that idea. <laughs> they are limited uh, use items. Luckily I remember the way. Just behind the skeleton is going to murder me. Okay, well, some good RNG there, they just decided to like this guy's had enough, let's just leave him alone. Oops. Um, uh, isn't that like right here? Damn it. Guess we're gonna have to use that second candle. Oh! Didn't have to use it. Yay! Close as hell. We're really lucky with that skeleton group there that just decided to stand there and do nothing. It's pretty funny. Three hundred and sixty-seven. <clears throat> the second piece of armor is four hundred. So might as well just save up a little more and get that. Once we get the armor, we're just gonna go to the second, uh, that other path in the uh, dungeon we didn't get to last time.
it's hard to hit some of these things. Okay, so I got enough money for the uh, armor. Let's just go buy that before we die. Now that we die, care less considering we have no money left. Kill me all you want, game. We need a heal, we just have to die. It's called the Ghetto Heal. Oh, I can heal for like, uh, get a full heal for, for one gold instead of ten. Assuming the game rounds up, rounds down, then we get a free heal. to the poor. <laughs> yeah, joke's on them. Oh, we lost our one gold. Yeah, we do, we do respawn to full health, so... Yep, cheapest in. Uh, yeah, I should save while I'm here. Poison bomb. I guess we can have poison. Eat poison in these games that is permanent. I mean, of course, poison would kind of be permanent there. It's kind of weird that some games where it just expires at the end of the uh, of the actual combat. But until you get an antidote spell, it's a real pain in the ass. that light come from? Thanks for the follow. Ah, sure. One second there, I have to fix my... Uh, list! It's covered over my... Interrupted Gaming, thanks for the follow. Fix this up here so I can actually read this. Let's see if I remember the path here without using a candle. I'm a cheap bastard, I hate using candles. I wonder if you see the treasure chest if, if you don't have a candle. 
go to the end of the path and like the treasure still show up or do I still have to have a candle and even or even see it? Hooray for you. Does not show up. Oh, there it does show up, yes. <laughs> inside. Just take them. Don't even need to ask me. To be game. A for memory, eh? <laughs> I can remember the path is around here. Curved a little bit this way, curved a little bit that way. At least they're fairly linear paths, so once you see the map once, it's like... I already know which way to go. Skeletons even are running away from me. Like, why the hell are they scared of me? Freaking undead skeletons. The like, god, oh, run away! He's coming with, coming at me with a sword. The hell? I'm, I'm trying to use the map to navigate, and I keep pressing in the direction I want to go. But I have to like realize pressing forwards moves you in the direction your guy is facing, not the direction that. Uh, of course, you would be going from the first-person view, which is completely darker now. Or was completely dark, I should say. So, it's easy to forget that you're moving forwards in the dark versus using a mini-map. Alright, so let's, uh, there's probably some treasure at the end of this path, since it goes towards nothing. Is herbs. Funny. I'll take that too. I can't think I have really anything else to buy. I should buy some more herbs and candles. Not that they stack, which sucks. <clears throat> well, the armor did, uh, did make quite a bit of a difference, I noticed. Taking one hell of a beating before, and now we're kind of holding our own against, like, a bunch of enemies like skeletons and that. Let's probably go from here. Do we have to go back to our house? Do we get the ring? Are we supposed to go to the castle with it or something? Like... The game wasn't very clear about that. We got the ring, now what? Figure it out. There's a fortune teller guy person thing. You'll tell us where to go. Tell your fortune if your money is good. It's ten kims, this paper is fine. See ring in Parma. Turn town north of here. Okay, so there is multiple rings to pick up. I don't know where that's explained. We got the ring of wisdom. Now we got to get the ring of ring of courage and the ring of. Uh, okay. What was the three tri triforce pieces again? <laughs> Is encouraging. Look at what the third one was. That's it for today. Thank you. All right, let's go to the next area. Let's go back to our house first, just in case. With the layout of the uh, of the the world, quote unquote, map, it looks like it's pretty linear, considering you're kind of forced to go in that direction. Where did my father's bed go? 
just throw the damn bed? What is in his grave? Yes, you buried him about five minutes after he died. With his bed, apparently. Must have been his casket. It was... All they, do, all they had to do was wrap him up in the sheets and put the entire thing on the ground. These slimes have a really crazy death yell. No. Those are some scary sounding slimes. Which of course sounds exactly like all the other monsters in the game. This area. I think we'd be you know, drawing them up as we went along, though. <laughs> I know. Eh? Look, the sky looks like a sky, it doesn't look like a blue blob, and the ground actually looks like ground, and it's not just gray walls and like a Orange, uh, orange floor. Monsters are still just this tiny, though. <laughs> I guess they have animations in this one. Counter rates. Another thing he stole from Dragon Warrior. Counter rates. <laughs> I guess so you can get an encounter three encounters per square. <laughs> wow. You know, you, you speak of the devil and just keep showing up. You're going to the, going the right way to like the, the town we just came from. I didn't know what the name of that town was. chest or something. Looks like a dead end too, so... Eesh. I've got some herbs, so I'll probably yell all this. Dead end. Not a dead end with the treasure chest. It's hard to hit them when they're diagonal, or when I'm diagonal to them. I 
and like front her up and down a little easier. He's blocking the door. It's bossy. Level up, yay. Free heal. Love these zero step encounters. Just turn, boom, with another encounter. So we're going in here first. Funky music. Oops. I'm a stranger. Save. <laughs> At least they have different looking buildings, different towns, which is kind of nice. Nos Nostin demands donations. They can screw off. Don't demand donations. Ask for donations, yes. They demand it, nah. Not gonna happen, buddy. Well, the king forces us to believe only in Nostra. Aha, so the king is stealing donations. Collect a lot of money if we convert to belief in Nostra. We don't think he will get the money, right? That's. I just noticed that everybody in this. Game have like face paint. This guy's got like a. Is that just like this? Or like species or something? We have that like green face thing. This guy's got one on both sides. Cause the one, of course, they just. See, my guy's got one on both sides, but if I look forwards, I only have some on my right side. Cause you know, they just mirrored the sprite. Uh, Save my memory, I guess. Just like in battle with a shield. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got some sort of mask or something. I don't know. Some green on their face. It's weird. For women. Women don't have it. I used to believe in good, but I was forced to convert to Austin. Guys look like they're wearing masks. Exercise. Thanks for your moonwalk there, buddy. Sometimes have advice for those with questions. Well, that's just that's just dandy. Only sometimes, just not right now. Now he doesn't have any advice. He's telling me to screw him off. He's got green too. We have slandering, sl slandering, slandering. What the hell, slandering? It's best to go west to gain experience. Best to go west. Huh? The king's meal from our shop brings to the castle. It's strange, but he now eats many times when he used to. That a good thing. Exploring caves is easier once you find the maps hidden there. Sells anything new? Yeah, 
Mercury costs more than a candle, but lasts for as long as you're in a candle. Okay, so lanterns are unlimited, and candles are not. at this price anyways. I noticed the prices went up here. This was like 20 and this was 10 at the other place, which is different. You often see like in prices go up in games, but it's rare that games re like increase the price of like basic items when you go further in. Gnome Stone. What the hell is a Gnome Stone? Is that the manual? Poison Bomb is obviously Antidote. Shields, magic shop, movement, magic, equipment shop. Okay. Gnome stone teleport. Is it a gnome stone? Is a griffin wing? I don't know what the difference between those are. Is the griffin wing is like multi use? Banshee powder is emergency. Tell me what the hell that means. Vaz, you'll find out. Joke book, you'll find out. Small bomb, you'll find out. Fine then. Yeah, so there's no some Griffin Wing, so I don't know. Maybe one of them is. Uh, oh, thanks for the uh, thanks for the host hearts, hearts start gaming. Maybe one of them escapes from like dungeons or something. One teleports back to town. One works inside of dungeons and one doesn't. Doesn't explain that. So. Some sort of teleport. We don't have really any money to waste on it because I'm sure we're going to be buying some upgrades at this town. Open up! Can't open that. Why not? Magic shop. Let's go buy some magic. It has been behaving oddly in the last few days. Thank you, sir. Books of spells are extremely useful. Get some as soon as you can. Yes, ma'am. I'll have your best book of spells, please. Hey. Manual. <laughs> Pharaohs, I'm assuming, is some sort of fire spell or some sort of iron spell. Send some nails out to something. Pharaohs, first fire. Alright. Sounds like a level 1 fire spell. Sangua sounds like a healing spell. Restore HP, yeah. Which probably be good. Can't afford it yet, though. Can barely afford this one, but. Let's get some. MP. It'll, be, it'll probably be like a ranged attack. Exactly. Gonna have the best spells possible. We're gonna buy this. Just because it's probably some sort of ranged attack. Probably better than any sort of weapon upgrades we can get right now. Uh, how does magic work in terms of equipping it? Which one you want to ready and it's gonna be the one you can cast. Purple monsters have lived east of here. Go west and gain some experience and treasure. You know, it looks like everybody had accidents with spray paint in this game. Like they're all they're all paint huffers and 
Their paint of choice is like lime green. Hey, look at this guy. He's clearly just huffed some, huffed some paint. Push him to the bottom. The king, the king has a ring just like yours. Which wealth is set to lie west of here? Take this map. This random person just. Here's a map. Enjoy. Gold by 96. The rest of the end. Wait. I don't need the rest of the end. What's the full health? It's a really weird. I got it. It's like everybody's got the green face paint. Except for some women. Like, some, some women just don't have it. Like, all the guys have it. It's weird. Like, I'm not sure if that's just some sort of weird graphical bug, or it's just that's the way they, the characters are designed. Fortunately, good things usually cost lots of money. Which means it's gonna be some really expensive stuff here. Sharp sword for 800, we got silver shield 500, we got scale armor. So we're gonna go grind some money to the west of here. This is where the game's suggesting us to go, is west. Hey, did you hear that the west of here is good? I'm gonna bother going to the, uh, to the. Come on, word. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> Go to the, the, the seer, the fortune teller. There, that's what I'm looking for. Words are tough. It's been a long day. <laughs> but I gotta stay awake a little longer there. I gotta go back to nights this week, so. No pass, it's the king's order. Well, screw the king. Ah, oh, no. Damn it. Fine. Oh, uh, didn't work. Yeah, I was working days uh, for the last two weeks. Now we're going back to night, so. <clears throat> I'm working Sunday night. So now I'm trying to stay awake a little longer there, just uh, trying to get back to my night routine. Keep switching back and forth, that's the toughest. Of course, it's harder switching to uh, days than it is switching to nights. I'm usually a night owl anyways, so... It seems to me the king's personality changed, but I thought he was moody. I'm here to deliver the king's meal. What the hell are you doing just standing around? Yeah, I'm just gonna pace back and forth to del deliver his meal. Either delivered or it's not. It's better to talk to the king. Yes, I have the ring. We need to combat the hordes of Car 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 Cartagena. There you go. Cartagena. That doesn't come off the tongue easily. You're not powerful enough to stand a chance of that. Nonetheless, I propose a test. The cave of Troy is outside of town. Bring me with the treasure of Troy and I'll give you my ring. Of course, the cave does, does have its guardians. Why does everybody walk in place? Stand still, people. So my, my guy doesn't move around. Doesn't look like he has to go take a piss here. Everybody else is like, oh no, no, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, but I can't. I have to stay in place. Somebody's gonna come and talk to me. guys are clearly on their way to do something, but must be stuck in mud. He's just standing, running in place, trying to get off the mud, poor guy. Everybody else is dancing. Everybody dance. Dancing to this cool music. Alright. 
So to the west. There's my west. And there's treasure this way. Run away! He's coming to kill us! It's like... I forgot to try my magic. Alright, I guess we're gonna go north here. Let's see if there's any treasure chests. Okay, so it's just like a fireball on you. Last forever, but it's good right at the beginning of a of a fight, though. It's right at the beginning of a fight. You get like a million guys surrounding you all of a sudden. I don't know how much damage it does. Well, it kills those guys in one hit, which is good. There's a treasure chest there. Only shows up after you kill the monsters. Kind of annoying. We first fade into existence. Herbs and stuff. Take the herbs. Guardians of the chest. I was kind of hoping though that spell would have been a uh, ranged spell. It gives me like a little bit of a shield around me. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's see what I can get. What's my inside? Let's just take the money. Like, why would I ne never. Why would I not take money? It's annoying you have to use two commands to open up a chest and get what's inside. Zero step encounters, man. Gotta love them. Turn around, oh, an encounter. Move a step, oh, another encounter. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. So it kind of combines. So this is a bunch of dead ends that probably have treasure chests. So. That's right, run away. Oh, we're coming back. Joke's on you. Good chest, there's herbs inside. New monster. Sort of magician things. Because they have different range attacks. Oh man, they just destroyed me. Holy crap. So those guys were tough. As long as half our money. Which money did we have? We had 400 and something. That sucks. Oh, well. So we picked up the item before we died. Okay, 
in here. Candle inside, yay! Eight candles. Can give me a lantern or something. This area. <laughs> really? Nothing inside. Ah, great. These leads. Run away. Or kill him. Killing is better. Probably a pretty good experience. I didn't notice how much I had before, so. slow in this game. Oh, they just gang up on you instantly as soon as you start the battle. Combat in this game is pretty basic. It's like you can have up to from one to one to eight monsters surrounding you. You just have to go around and whack them. Of course, you know, they whack you and it seems like they, they keep doing hit and runs, like they, they hit you and then you run away in the opposite direction. Which I guess is a good thing in a way, I mean, that way you don't get, like, destroyed by like, one monster, it just keeps coming after you. Okay, 400 gold. I think we have enough for, like, uh... Weapon upgrade. <laughs> I think the best weapon you can get here was uh, 400 gold, if I remember correctly. Finally, cheap item. Plus, gold is really hard to come by. But I mean, I had well, I had 400 gold, and I got another 200 gold. So I would have had 600 if I didn't die. Mages just destroyed me. How many hit points do I have? That's like this is this is pretty much a Dragon Warrior clone, so usually if you stay in place they'll show up your health. Nope. Fortunately they didn't copy that part of it. Um uh, 62 health. I'm half health right now. YOLO. Are you sure you're prepared for the task ahead? No. Damn it. Twenty damage to me. Barely touched him. Alright, I guess we're grinding money in this area until we get the uh, gold for uh, a weapon. Should level up anyways, so before we go any further. How much the inn cost here? It was ten bucks the last place, so this one's probably like twenty or something. If 
people you meet aren't really people, like everybody with green face paint. It's a weird price. Can I put it to 15? Just put it to 13. Because, yeah. Stairs. It's easy, really easy to miss those stairs. They kind of blend in with the rest of the uh, scenery. The other person downstairs said the same thing. You guys are clones of each other. Maybe we're all made of soil and green. That's why everybody's just got green face paint on. Every time I hear a monster die, I'm reminded of, like, Darth Vader from Episode 3. No. Monsters here. Get the money we need. Jesus. Jesus. Holy crap. Just take it easy there, buddy. Guys just wrecked me a new one. Run away from my awesomeness. tricky when you're above and below them. You don't really know how close you have to be before you, you can kill them, before you hit them. Six hundred and sixty eight gold. Let's not die before we can spend it. just to make sure here. And one thing I didn't notice with the uh, inventory is there's no sort system as usual. Everything just kind of falls wherever the hell it wants to. Before I can buy that sword. 
Let's hope that sword will let me one-shot these things. Close to leveling up as well. Get back here. Experience. We get everything at the same time. Come on, those guys coming diagonally, they just murder you. Enter gold on the button. They're one kill away from one group away, I should say. Blowing up, so let's do that. That's only two spawn. Not quite enough to level up. I should do it. I don't know. Look at how much these guys give individually. Apparently enough. Hold up. Right. 36 MP. Oops. Right here. Alright, so now we have a new weapon. We can probably make our way towards the, uh, Shopkeepers give you like 30% of the original cost. Back sword was 100 bucks to buy, so cheap shopkeepers. <laughs> Which you know, 30 30% kind of makes sense. Some some games are really weird like that though. They have some games you like give you like 80% of your original cost back, which is like really. It's like it's armor that I've used for. Now, thousands of fights is probably like completely destroyed and giving you back 80% of the original cost. Alright. So that's kind of nice of you. These guys die in one shot now that we leveled up and have a new sword. Better die in one shot. First shot didn't count since I didn't hit him. But he definitely died in one shot there. The hell is that thing? Will o wisp or something? It doesn't die in one hit. They don't seem to be aggressive. Like they don't seem to come for me. They just randomly walk around in whatever direction they want to. So 
so they probably hurt like hell if you get hit by them. I don't notice how much experience or gold that gave me, but... These guys are nasty. Holy crap, I'm almost dead already. Do not get hit by those wizards. Holy shit. Should go back to town and heal up here. Dudes. Right, they do hit pretty damn hard if they hit you. It's like a forty something health and went down to twenty four or so. Got to be careful with them. Especially since they move in like total RNG patterns here. Just expecting them to move one way and suddenly they're moving the opposite way. Especially when they're grouped up like that. Holy crap. Hit them dead, but take a chance. There. Don't want to take a chance on that one. Okay, still don't die in one hit. Let's just go over here first. here first, I guess. There's probably treasure in there. I guess this is a multi-level map. Should 
heal up before I uh, run into some wizards or something. Okay, so where do we want to go now? Good enough money to probably buy some upgraded armor after this. sit there, but whatever. Some new monsters, big eyeballs. Holy shit. Some really tough eyeballs, freak. Oh, there goes all our money. Thanks. That sucks. Guarding a chest, or that was just a random spawn on top of the chest. I'm assuming those are probably guarding the chest, which means that chest probably had something good. It's crazy. They should upgrade my weapon, my armor, but that we lost all our gold that we had. <laughs> we can't. After this one, I should say. Alright. What's the. Sega. Okay, 
you guys ready to press the button C? again. Green slime blocks your path. Run away! As long as it's not the wizards. These things are really nasty as hell. Oh, they're having a moment. They're having a little conversation on the best way to kill me, and then they both decide to just, just go for it. existence. What's my leveling up here? Still pretty far. Those things were bad. Run away! Holy crap! How much damage those guys do to me there? It was insane. same square. If they do, then they're definitely guarding something. Of course, now they show up in the square right before it. Run. Come on. Are you serious? Like, look at that. You do those guys, and they, they instantly kill you. Like, you have no chance against those things. Those things are freaking nasty, man. Everything else in the dungeon is like a joke, and then these eyeballs just murder you, and of course, give you eight of them in one group, so... Nuts. So we're gonna have to grind some more gold to get uh, better armor, if that even helps. Not just more grinding.
just fighting anything from above and below. It's really hard to judge the distance. That's right, run away, run away. Where is it? How did that even hit me? It wasn't even close to it. It's been some more diagonal damage or something. It's barely touched him diagonally. Dirts. That's so your uh, fireball always starts from like certain. Seems like it stops. Uh, it starts in like the uh, northwestern kind of corner of your character and spins clockwise. So when I kill a character that's like below you with that fireball, ain't gonna happen. Which damage these guys just do to me? I don't think these guys even do damage. To me. What the hell wasn't. Close enough to take damage from these things. Uh, so we're heading back towards town. Butchered there. These guys, I think, are worth good money and experience. Holy crap. Tell if the it's like am I doing damage to these things? It just disappears. Oh come on! So when I'm on the top area, just uh, two health points. Time to reset, I think. Yeah. So the follow ne necro skitter. Oh, this is gonna be a tight one. <laughs> come on! Just no. Oh. Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! I love how the fire just disappears against the background there. Whoa. Thanks again to Hearthside. This is gonna be a close one. YOLO! Damn it! Fire! Nope! Fire! Nope! There we go. Oh, nice level up. We needed that level up. Oof. That was like the perfect timing for level up. I don't think we would have made it back to town either. Okay, we can kill these guys in one shot now, which is nice. Eight hundred gold. How much was the armor? Twelve hundred, I think it was. Ah, oh, damn wizards! <clears throat> okay, sorry, right. only one. You almost winged me with that uh, tiny little pink orb. Which does massive damage. Skeletons. 
I still can't one shot the skeletons, but I'll take what I can get. Blue eyeballs are down. Going down now. Jeez. How much damage those guys just did. Half my health just gone. This way. Oh, this way. No, no. What the hell? Dude. Stop. There. Navigating in the dark is fun. I really hate when they come at you diagonally. They always seem to do so much more damage. It's like when they seem to hit you, like, directly from, you know, one of the standard cardinal directions, they back off after they hit you. They hit you diagonally, it's like, it's gonna butcher you. Right. I need my candle here. It's coming, keep coming at you. Holy crap! chest here after all that. Son of a bitch. After like three deaths going towards there. Got Twelve hundred gold now. I should go back to town before I die. But greedy. The greed is answering I must answer the call. Let's loot all the chests. Got some herbs. Just here. Just here. It's really tricky a chest. You have to wait for them to like appear. Ugh, these things are nasty. You kill them in one shot, but they hit you. It's like freak. Partially restored. Skeletons. Okay, so there's probably some stuff down here. Chest there. Chest like in the middle of the paths because if it's in the middle of the path, you won't even notice the chest. Like, it's just the chest like shows up very slowly, you won't even notice it. You just you just walk right past it and you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even notice there was a chest there. So, let's hope they only spawn at the end of the uh, rooms where you would normally stop to look for them. Look how slow that is. If you just, no, no, it does. You, you can't even move when it's re when it's appearing. So, okay, let's uh, probably need that. Let's go this way. Let's go upstairs or downstairs, whatever direction that stairs is.
6,000 men. Far level away. Balls. Oh, come on. <sighs> Frickin'. Mm. Want money? 15 gold. Damn it. Eyeballs piss me off. They just keep hitting you like... There's, there's no invulnerability frames in this game, so... Something touches you and they just keep chasing you, and you're just taking like 4 or 5 hits from that thing. So when it does 20 damage, well, that's all your health. <laughs> now or save up 200 gold. Probably grind that 200 gold off of uh, monsters just like before the uh, before the cave. It's kind of flame monsters, the the, the uh, yellow gem for decent money. Or tell because you have to notice your your gold before and after and realize how many you're killing and divide that but then we're it doesn't tell you how much gold or experience you get per kill, it just... Battle ends. So you have to... Check before and after and figure it out yourself. A little trickier. So that armor makes a difference against those giant eyeballs. Yes, they run pretty fast too, they seem to run faster than your character. Float faster, technically. The eyeballs don't really run too well. Buy a bunch of herbs and can't well, candles. We have. So I can buy a uh, lantern for 65 gold. I won't have to worry about any other candles inside that dungeon. I've got three candles. Never mind. Use all those up first, and then buy the lanterns after. Which is kind of annoying. It was saved with the actual file. Alright, 
what's the best shield here? 500 gold? All right. Should be able to get that pretty quick. I mean, we're already 245 after selling our armor. Um, we should we buy our last shield for? I think it was like 90 gold, so probably get like 30 gold back from that. So, still far from 500, but we'll buy a whole bunch of herbs and we survive through the uh, cave this time, then we'll have more than enough money by the time we get back. There it is. Potion job. Come on. NPCs in the games, man. Always getting your way. Yes, I'd like to buy some more herbs. Yes, I'd like to buy some more herbs. Just give me a damn option of buying multiple herbs. Game. Yeah, I, I don't know what the inventory limit is, considering it doesn't stack anything. Items here. Let's buy another one. The hell of it. Hope it's not eight, because eight would be really stupid. Are you serious? So you can only carry eight items, and they don't stack. Like uh, that's why I figured. <laughs> Copy that from Dragon Warrior as well. It's like the stupidest inventory system. Uh, Dragon Warrior got a pass because it's an 8-bit game, and this is like 16-bit. There's no excuse to have like a, an inventory with a limit of 8 things you can carry. Especially when you can't stack things like herbs and candles and things like that. At least they uh, they made it so that your armor doesn't include, isn't included in that inventory, but still, that's just stupid. Make sure it's realistic that your character would be able to carry a limited number of uh, items, but if you carried eight candles with you, uh, that, that wouldn't take much space. <laughs> You'd be able to carry a whole lot more than eight candles with you. I don't know how big these herbs are. I'm assuming it's like a little pouch of herbs. Dancing in the corner there. So we encounters. Let's want to get back to the place. They'll take a lot of damage from these things. Here. Jeez. Some wizards are just nasty as hell. Looks like even if you're on a way, you, you get the experience and the uh, gold from any monsters you killed. So I had 250 experience there before running away. Let's, let's find out. So we had 272. Let's go all but one of these. Run away. Yeah, so you, you get the money, and was, I didn't notice experience, but you do get the money for everything you kill even after running away. This is that. So it's not a total loss when you 
accidentally step on the side of the screen or something after killing like three quarters of the uh, monsters. Which is fair, I mean, kill those things. Only fair that you uh, experience for it. from the 500 we need for the shield. against these slimes. I need find something that gives me a better reach for these weapons. This so guy just swings at the... Like, really swings that sword. So he's, he's trying to aim for something above him. Wizards, worst enemy. Oh crap, whole group of wizards. Some damage. God damn, those wizards are nasty as hell, man. And of course, we got another group. things that die in one shot at least. Poor monsters are trying to escape from me. They can't. Because they're monsters. Silly monsters. Only I can escape. Got more than enough gold to buy that shield now, but... Yeah, I'm not going all the way back. Until I finish this damn... Dungeon. In front of the door. Come on. I love how I take damage when you only touch the thing. It's like this close to the thing. Oh, it's like really.
No, not the eyeballs. Why didn't I use my healing? Okay, so I'm curious now. Okay, okay stop staring at me. Stop it. There's only two levels of this dungeon. Balls. Please don't be eight eyeballs. Jeez. So it's both hitting me like a lot. Use some herbs. I think we bought a lot this time. Armor does nothing against those friggin' eyeballs. How do eyeballs even do damage? Just stare at you? Like those little things underneath them that are doing damage? I can't get away from the damn thing. So much damage there. It was insane. The guy just kept following me and damaging me. He's faster than me. Monster drop that chest, or was that just there? Where's my uh, drop a chest? Yeah. Kind of realistic, but kind of creepy. Oh, 
come on. Look at that. It just chased me until it was dead. Couldn't do anything about it. <sighs> Got enough money to buy a shield and some more herbs. Not that the shield's gonna do anything. Something that makes those guys slower. Because when they run faster than you and they just run into you, then you do so much freaking damage. attempt of this, and then we'll call that night, I think. Feeling the burn. I've been up since 6 a.m. this morning. Just fill my inventory of the herbs, please. Like six herbs. Who would like an herb? Is that okay? Yes. Wait, you didn't give me six. Give me more. Like some herbs. Alright, this is attempt number 60. I lost track. We're about to level up. We to save. I should have saved. Let's level up first. Uh, we'll go back and save. Should be able to, should be able to grind these guys pretty quickly. Oh, it definitely take, it took a lot of hits from those... Uh, three hits from those magicians. We only took 20 damage. Normally it would have been like 20 damage each. The shield definitely made a difference. It was like just destroying it. Wait, I thought I was supposed to level up 6,000? Full heal when we level up, so let's keep going towards the uh, place. Could have been murdered by eyes <laughs> before we level up. <clears throat> we'll probably level up before we reach that place. spell. 800 gold, mind you, so next time I stop by town, I'm gonna have to buy that. Big 
could we do uh, Zipper Mana? Level up. Level 7 Raw. Still on one shot of the skull. They're not exactly dangerous anymore, so. way to the end of this area where we died last time, so damn eyes. To find the map of this level, so it makes it a little easier, but Candles everywhere. So we 
worth some money. Probably not much. Like 300. 350 gold, give or take. It's a 350 gold that doesn't uh, decrease with your death counter. One right here is path just in front of us into the uh, south. It's probably where the chest was that had the map. Skedaddle. Crazy. 
Another group of eyes. Yay. Holy crap. Look at that. Holy crap, man. It's insane. It's a good thing we healed there. Angry for me there, and that was insane. Come on, stop with the eyes. It's a dagger, how's it going? <sighs> These enemies are tough as hell, man. The sad part is we have like the best armor we can get at this point. <laughs> well, maybe not. I mean, I'm not sure if I can get to the other. Probably get to like the next town. Plus, we don't have the healing magic, which I should have picked up by now. Either way, those eyes are nasty. His eyes is scary as hell. They can just murder you if they just keep running into you. Areas here we haven't been to, but I'm kind of scared of going there. If there's like <laughs> chests with uh, a map or something, be nice. Shouldn't go too far in this direction because, yeah, new monsters. Well, it's probably the nest. Too bad, but. Get out of here, let's go back to the town first. Before we go to any new areas. Just has a map or something around here. We have tons of money. Let's just use these damn herbs. Cheap bastard. Herbs are 25 gold each. Monsters are getting harder, which is a good sign. This is a good sign of this is a place we can explore safely, or that we were meant to explore by now. Well, safely as in, you know, it's not these nasty wizards, but. Yeah, 
forget about the wizards, man. Okay, they're the only ones so far that have sort of range attacks, and their range attacks do as much damage as their normal attacks. Sword. Uh, manual. Sharp, long, silver prime, diamond royal ultimate. It's not even on the list. Sword? I don't know. Let's see. Is there, uh... Is there a strength right now is 122. Let's see if that goes up we equip or something. It's not like a cursed sword or something. Was there... Wait. Is that even an option? Dark Sword and doesn't exist. It's not in our inventory anywhere. What the hell? Oh, I didn't take it. In. It's fine. I'm forgetting about the, the whole take command, right? I'm kind of scared that it might be cursed, so I'm gonna wait till I get to town before equipping it. We get into town the uh, very fast way very soon because I'm out of healing. Yeah, I keep forgetting that, you know, open doesn't equal take, which is stupid as hell. Like, who would not open a chest and take the item? You find money. Alright, take it. So still you have to do two commands in order to, uh, to get items from a chest. The long and dangerous road, road ahead of you. Hurry up, or all is lost. I'm trying to hurry, I'm trying to get back to town. <laughs> Damn it. As long as it's better than Heroes of the Lance, god. What year was that released? I don't think it was released in 1991. I didn't see it in uh, my list for 1991. Right now I'm doing games pretty much chronologically. So this game, well, the first game in 1991 ended up being cut because it wasn't really an RPG. It was uh, Dungeons and Dragons Hero of the Lance. That one was definitely not an RPG. I still ended up beating it though, just not using a walkthrough because that game pissed me off. So <laughs> I had to beat it just to beat it. But yeah, that game was not an RPG. This is the first true RPG of 1991. They're playing. Uh, really, eyeballs? <sighs> of course. There goes half our money. I got greedy. I gotta say, it's my fault. We've gone right back to town, but nope. I got green. Still have 60. So we lost like so much gold. All right. So yeah, this guy does have the 
does have like an uncursed command, right? Remove curse, so I'm thinking that Dark Sword probably cursed. So it sounds like a cursed item, right? Find out soon enough. Okay, so we have 122 strength. Same thing about being cursed. I have 134 strength, so our strength went up, so definitely a better weapon. So we kind of got lucky finding that. So that was worth uh, 1600 gold, technically, because it's probably how much equivalent weapon would have cost. So. Still a lot more in that area. So I'll have to go back there and search it out. But that won't be tonight. I'm going to be calling it very shortly there after going to see the king with that uh, treasure of Troy. to kill the puppy <laughs> that getting out shortly, so... Alright, let's go buy that heal spell, because, uh, yeah. We definitely need a heal spell. <laughs> Keep running out of herbs. It's been a long day. <laughs> been streaming for about uh, eight hours now, almost. Yeah, probably closer to seven. But been a long day before that, so. Believe it. You return to the treasure of Troy. Why don't you just forget about that ring and settle down for a quiet life here? Sure. You have no choice. Just accepting that, man. No. Give it no. He said no. No. I'm stubborn, no. Screw you, no. B. Really? Well, I. I did end up beating it just with a walkthrough because I, I cut that game. Uh, so. You know, there's a point where it's like, okay, well, this isn't an RPG anymore, or wasn't an RPG to begin with, so I ended up cutting it after, you know, getting really frustrated with it too. So I cut it, but then I just used a walkthrough and finished it because it was a pretty short game to walk through. So I was like, you know what, it's gonna get it done anyways, but I'm not counting as a completed game, so. My damn ring. Bastard. Yeah. I get really frustrated and there's, there's a point where you go into like an area that's basically just a big ass maze. And yeah. Uh, apparently now you know you need to go there. What the hell do we do now? I want to enter it. Mm. Sorry. Bastard doesn't want to give us the damn ring. Yeah, it's pretty... it's pretty nasty. So if, if I hadn't taken the wrong turn there, or rather, you know, would have gone the right way, that, that, that place was probably a big loop anyways, and that's the thing. There's no way of knowing, because everything looked the same. There's no landmarks whatsoever, so... Yeah, there's, there's a reason why that one's rated as the worst quote-unquote RPG of the uh, NES. So what the hell did I do? Let's go see the... Uh... Castle. 
as uh, strange ingredients as we used to. Let's go see the fortune teller. So we just have to go to the next uh, town or something. Maybe we can go in here now. Some people will say different things at different times. All right, guess we're talking to everyone again. You up on your quest so soon? Don't worry, there is no danger here in town. There is. Me and my sword. I'm pissed. You and my damn ring. stuck in this town no matter which way you look at it. These guys are talking about the whole Ghost and Austin thing, so they'll tell me something new. He's sitting on the queue now. I guess she's not really sitting, she's kind of wriggling around on the pew quite a bit. Kind of wondering what happened to that pew. Move a curse. No. The fact that he even offers to relieve a curse is strange. But was that sword actually cursed after all? Ah. Uh, Should have. <laughs> did I save before? Uh, I did, did I? It's kind of like a weird combination of Fantasy Star in terms of the graphics and Dragon Warrior in terms of like a lot of the the entire like menu system is definitely Dragon Warrior like you know, talk, open, search. The uh, inventory system is very Dragon Warrior esque. I mean, you have like eight items you can carry at a time. Everything just screams Dragon Warrior, which you know. Definitely makes sense. It's definitely one of the more popular RPGs out there at this point. It worries me that he asked me 110 gold to relieve a curse. Thinking that Dark Sword was, was cursed. I never fought uh, since I picked it up, so I figured it would tell me like the item is cursed, but maybe it doesn't. Let's see what happens here. It's so been removed. So it's de definitely was cursed now. Yeah, and the, and the item disappeared too. That sucks. So it's just like Dragon Warrior, where if you have like a cursed uh, item. I, I, I probably wouldn't have been able to remove it. This one actually tells me it's cursed. It didn't tell me it was cursed last time. What the hell? Damn it. Alright, so let's uh, reset. Move the curse again and go pick up another sword that we... We just want, wasted some money there. <clears throat> yeah, because I guess if... If you pick up, or if you equip an item, oops. If you equip an item that's cursed and you have a current item, it just says you ready the the item. Oops. Second. What is that? Maximize. There we go. Remember that. 
So it just says you 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 remove the other item and you pick that one up and it doesn't tell you it's cursed, but if you're if you don't have an item equipped, then it'll tell you it's cursed. Like <laughs> kind of system is that. Should have saved before, but hindsight 2020 and all that. Alright, so let's uh that curse. I'll probably sell it. Hopefully for a pretty penny. Yep. Good old Genesis. Ahead of its time. Well, not really ahead of its time, but it came out before, before Nintendo decided to go 16 bit because, you know. By the time Genesis came out, the NES was still in full swing, so... So Nintendo was like, ah, we don't need to go 16-bit yet, and then of course, you know, people were demanding 16-bit, so they kind of had to. Alright, how much this? Three Kims. Thanks. So I gotta buy a sword again. what that curse would have done. Right, let's figure out how the hell we're supposed to get it on this town. What monsters live east of here? Go west to gain experience and treasure. What are we wearing? People we meet aren't really people. It's good to know which ones aren't. Can't say if you don't pay. Watch me. Give it. Can't get on the beds. That I have to talk to again in order to continue this quest line. Like, obviously, the king is some sort of weird reptilian overlord creature thing that's trying to enslave humanity, but how do we reveal him? Did you use my map? Yes, I did. Where's the rest of it? Place open that used to be closed. So maybe I can knock on the door, talk at the door or something like that. This thing obviously has it's definitely part of it. I'm sure, <clears throat> it's gonna be some somebody that's gonna open that door or get to go into that door somehow. Does he put it on? Here again, I see that you need a more permanent solution to your problem. Here you'll find I'm rather beastly when I'm bothered. Okay. This is different. So I guess boss fights played in a little different. It's a kind of a weird system. You just go back and forth and whack them. Interesting indeed. How could I not have known? Yeah, I'm sure you didn't know, buddy. Did we, did we get his ring? I didn't notice. We did, didn't we? Oops. 
there's probably in that other room. It's blocking off. King was an imposter. Yeah, I'm sure everybody knew. Hey, look at that, now they're just conveniently gonna let me go by. Showing no mercy to anyone, except to me, because he let me just waltz right by. Hey, look, he's the real king. He was, he was... Yeah, there's, there's, there's no door here. I mean, you could have just walked out. Up the stairs. That's it. Hey guys, I'm the real king. Yeah, I can see if this is like locked. Must be just too stupid to walk upstairs and do that. He has, you know, probably uh, generations of inbreeding there, so probably not the smartest guy. Thank you, that piece from. Cartagena. Cartagena. I still can't even say that. Transfer itself to look like me. Make a split from commander in town militia. You care to settle down here? No, for love of God, no. Hit the Watling. You get a good deal of information there. For service, I hereby present you with the Ring of the Sky. With your quest, Brave Warrior. Yay, we got the Ring of Sky. Whatever that does. I'll recheck the manual, see what the hell the point of these rings are. Is the ring, one ring to rule them all and everything? I don't know. This is take stuff from everything. Dragon Warrior, Lord of the Rings, Fantasy Star. Put it all into one big melting pot. A really weird combat system and voila! Calling it here for the night. It's gonna go save here. Kind of exhausted. Ugh. All right, so we got the first two rings of the game. I'm not sure how many rings there are. I'm assuming there's like I don't know, ten rings, ten fingers, right? No. Let's take a quick look at this here. Objectives. Must obtain the eight rings of the good. Wait. Prince must obtain eight rings of good. There are sixteen rings altogether. Eight rings of evil in the hands of Sarkon. Okay. So we have two of the eight rings. We probably have to have a final showdown with Sarkon or something. So we're good there. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to be calling there for night, so I'm going to pause the timer here. So, I'm going to be continuing this game tomorrow. Try to get a couple more rings in, and uh, I'll go from there. So, in the meantime, thanks everybody for watching, and everybody have a great night.